Namashiva students. Hope everything is fine. In previous classes, we finished reading the chapter, The Baba's Wife. Let's recapitulate the story. This story is a folk tale written by historian Romila Thapa. The Baba in this story was a lazy man with no skill at all. So customers never used to come to him. He was very poor. One day he returned home with nothing. So his wife told him to go bake. He went to palace to bake on the eve of king's marriage. The king was amused by this and gave the Baba a piece of land outside the city. But the Baba's wife was very angry with this. As they were not farmers and farming was a very tough and difficult job. But still they went to see the patch of land. There the wife being strong and asked her husband to follow whatever she was doing. The husband followed so. Nearby a band of robbers was watching them. Intrigued, the leader of the band of robbers asked the wife about what they were looking for. The wife first stammered but little later told him a story where an uncle gifted the land to them and before dying that uncle had told them that there were eight pot of gold buried in that land. The Berber and his wife were looking for that only. The wife told the leader not to tell anybody about this secret and after that they all left. Next day when the Berber and his wife came to visit the land, they found out that the whole land was dug out. The Berber's wife loved a lot on her own wittiness. Then they bought grains and harvested. Soon they became rich enough to live a comfortable life. But the robbers kept a tab on them. They sought for revenge and was waiting for an opportunity. One evening, the leader got the opportunity. He slipped into the Baba's house and kept hidden. But the Baba's wife, ever alert, saw the robber. She instantly understood why the robber was there. She asked her husband to ask her in a loud voice about where the money was kept hidden. The Baba did the same. The Baba's wife actually had hidden kitchen garbage under a bowl of sweets and kept it in the kitchen. Naturally, the leader of the robbers took the bait and stole it. Now, this was the second time the robbers got outwitted. They were deadly angry about finding sweets only and kitchen garbage only. During summer time at night, people in villages used to sleep out in their backyard. Few months later, one same like night, while the Berber and his wife were sleeping, the Berber's wife started to have a dream. She dreamt of being carried away on a palki. As she opened her eyes, she realized that she was not in a palki but was being carried away by the robbers. Now she was scared. She knew now she was done for. These robbers were already outwitted by her and now they would not show any kind of mercy to her. She started thinking how to escape. Suddenly, a robber told about hurting his shoulder and want to rest. As they fell asleep, the Baba's wife took this opportunity to escape. She arranged her bread clothes in such a manner that it looked like as if she was sleeping. Then she climbed up a tree. As the robbers just started to wake up, the Baba's wife started in a hollow voice, started howling in a scaring voice. She had wrapped her face and hands in a white cloth and flapped her hands looking like a flying ghost. This scared the robbers out of their wits. Thinking the tree being haunted by a ghost, 
they scrambled out from there and ran away as fast as they could. Laughing, the burgher's wife came down from the tree and went back home with her bed too. The robbers were never seen there. They never showed their face again. Well, students, I hope you have understood the story. This is a very hilarious story. So how do you like, like this story? Read more stories like this. You will find stories like this in Panchatranta, Tinker and many more. Okay, students. So in next class, we will do question answers. Till then, Namashivai.